that's been made of the freak genetics of Bianca Belair with good reason. Let me tell you about some freak genetics Dakota Kai has. Her grandfather played rugby for the All Blacks. Plays the most fearsome sporting team in the history of planet Earth, Corey. Yeah, with you there. I'm a big fan of the All Blacks, but right now the EST hoisting up Kai once again. I don't care who's in your family lineage. That doesn't necessarily translate to success here in WWE. Well, Bianca Belair simply lives in the gym. That's why she's capable of pulling out moves like that at a moment's notice despite a beatdown prior. It is WrestleMania season. And if it was even possible for Belair to be in even better physical shape than she was a few weeks ago, it is the case tonight. Heavy right hammer fists on the crown of Dakota's skull. Dakota just ate it up and came back with an attack of her own. Tremendous athleticism from Belair. Into a gut buster on Kai. Kai trying the best to escape that. Perhaps didn't get all of it, but got enough. And Belair now in complete control. Cranium of Kai bouncing off the mat repeatedly. Oh my goodness. It was sickening to watch that take place. Belair finding top gear with ease. Boots off a Kai out of the way and back once again to the braid of the EST. You're not going to win a tug of war with Bianca, particularly when it involves the woman's own hair. Elbow right on the chin of Kai. Belair showing up and showing out right here on SmackDown. Good night, Kai. Moonsault finds the mark, hook of the leg by Belair. You know, Wade, it's impressive to me how night after night, week after week, Bianca Belair utilizes almost the exact same strategy, the same playbook, a very similar sequence of maneuvers, but she is so athletic and so powerful that opponents rarely have an answer. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Stick to a winning formula. Belair has been shrouded in gold. Ooh since arriving at the very base layer of WWE. There's a reason for that. She is simply unstoppable. Ooh, although Kai might make me eat my words. Cover here. Poor ring positioning for Dakota Kai, but very nearly escaped with a victory. I'm impressed that Kai was able to dig herself back into this matchup. Shows the durability and the drive of Dakota Kai. She wants goal as badly as the rest of her compatriots within damage control. And taking out someone like Bianca Belair will put you on a path to the very top. No doubt about that, but it's a task easier spoken about than actually accomplished. And toying. I have to question this decision, Wade. I... Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, toying with Belair can only backfire. This is recovery time in Belair's mind, and there you have it. Getting a little cocky, a little too confident. You can do that with lesser competitors, not Bianca Belair. Massive forearm connects, and Kai answers with one of her own. Back and forth we go. Two women giving it everything in pursuit of victory. It's about momentum this time of year. Belair drops Kai again. And Bianca now looking to build a rally. Trying to sustain some momentum. A scorpion kick by Dakota Kai. They're flushed to the temple of Bianca Belair, who's on jelly legs now. Here we go. Full head of steam, nobody home for Kai. And this is not where you want to be when you're in the ring with the EST. Well, Dakota had it scouted, gripped that top rope and has managed to escape. Oh no! Knee first into the ring post. Patella completely smashed and that is the previously damaged knee of Dakota Kai. You're right about that one, Wade. And oh. now... Belair with an opportunity to capitalize. Yeah, you've got to soften up Dakota Kai. That brace on the right knee would have offered absolutely zero protection to that collision. What is Belair searching for here? Whatever she damn wants. All the way up. 
All the way down goes Dakota Kai, but a nasty landing in her own right for the EST as Bel Air delivered the superplex. Yeah, impressive deadlift suplex. But let's take a look, by the what preceded it. It was this knee of Dakota Kai jamming against that steel post, followed by this freak strength deadlift suplex to Kai's lower back. Both women it in a big way. A big time spear from Bianca. Once again, searching for the KOD. If Bel Air hits this, it is over. The kiss of death. Thanks for coming, Dakota. And, wait. and the Kabuki Warriors. The result's going to go down as official. A win for Bel Air. But Kyrie Zane and Asuka laying waste to the victor. This feels anything. But victory for Belair right now, but reinforcement is on her way in the form of Naomi, who got a beat down herself last week from the Kabuki Warriors. Naomi bound by a common enemy, that being damage control. But the numbers game once again. No, 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 no. Naomi now has dropped Asuka. Damage control are feeling the glow at the moment, but... Oh. Kyrie from behind again. The ultimate equalizer. Double team attack by the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. But here comes Bel Air re entering the fray. Naomi and Bianca trying to fight side by side, but damage control utilizing the numbers advantage as they have so frequently and so effectively tactically astute highly dangerous and dominating the women's division this is an all out of stuff no 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 wait the storm is here you really want to do this, Jade? Jay Cargill walking deliberately with purpose in no rush, but laser focused. I know you're new around here, Jade. You have to be aware of what damage control are capable of. But damage control need to be capable of who the hell Jade Cargill is. Look at this power! Kyrie Sane to no avail. Face first. Single-handedly decimating damage control. Can't say that Naomi and Belair expected Jade Cargill as backup, but they are certainly happy they had it. Everything we thought we knew about the women's division just changed with this flurry of offense from Jade Cargill. The storm has landed here on SmackDown, and we need to start rewriting the future. Damage control, you've got a brand new problem. And Jade Cargill, be thy name.